what's going on guys and in today's video I'm going to be talking to you about how to safe spot blood builds in the catacombs um, in one of my previous videos I done a video how to safe spot the hellhounds and I know it's a lot of you have been watching that video so it gave me an idea to do another video about blood builds um, I know in the catacombs they're a lot stronger so when you're using melee you're going to have to take prayer parts and you know waste a bit of money but with the range guide as you can see in my event you literally need a few bits of food and I'll show you why so if you don't already know how to get here it's just here in the um, kingdom of great Corrind. you can use Xeric's talisman and teleport to the, the heart or use your own house with the teleport or you can use someone else's house it's entirely up to you so anyway you go in here and blood fields are just up north I'll show you. I'll actually just walk there, probably be easier. Um, blood, these blood veils luckily don't um, attack you, they're not aggressive, which is good. Unless I don't know if you're lower level, then it might attack you, I'm not sure. So, as you can see, um, the, the two safe spots I like to use, and probably what most people use, is this square here. I believe you're not, this square here. So it's like an L shape, as you can see, so just like this. So let's do an example. If I attack this one, I'm going to move into that square here. So obviously if I go one square forward, it's going to hit me as you can see. So I always go here and it's safe spotted so it can't hit me at all. And they also drop meat pies as well. So if you do start to run out of food, you can always pick them up and eat them. That's what I've been doing. So as you can see, I'm not wasting any money, I'm getting range XP, I'm getting Slayer XP, and yeah, so I've showed you from this side, once I've killed this I'll show you from the other side, so if I attack this one, so look, if I stand here it's going to attack me, if I stand this square, it's going to keep hitting me, but this square, it's not going to hit me, so as I, as I said, the square I'm on now, and that square here where my mouse is now, is the perfect place to save spot. Sometimes you might have to juggle your player around a little bit so the blood veil gets stuck. You know, because sometimes it can go straight towards you, but all you've got to do is move into that square or where I am now. So let's do an example. If I attack this one, it's obviously going to be here. So if I sort of do this, run up here, it's going to stay in one spot and your player will be all over the place. All you've got to do is run to that little square. Simple as that. Is really that simple or if you want to stay in that spot at the top you can sort of move down maybe and sort of go up like that but then as you can see it's going to attack me so you've got to just stick to one spot like this and it's a good thing you're not aggressive otherwise this um, guide wouldn't be too helpful so yeah so I'm just thought I'd do this short video for you guys and I will be making more uh, guides soon um, just haven't had much time at the moment but so yeah this, that is my guide how to safe spot blood builds in the catacombs and I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching